Howdy everybody. How's everything going? Well, I got an update on my 59 F250 four wheel drive. So I didn't get to film a lot of the stuff I did do it, but I did end up finding a motor for it. A used, good used motor. Uh, I came out of a truck that a guy was gonna LS swap. But I did end up finding a motor for it. And I'm waiting some, uh, for some other parts. But I'll just give you an update on it and how, how it's uh how it's come around. If we can get this hood popped open. No. So this is I was told that's fun. A 292 and I bought new points for it and then it ended up being I think we figured the year was about a 55 or oh, 56 to 57 anyways it was earlier than the this truck in 1959 it was a generation or the engine generation earlier than the motor that came in the 1959 Ford but anyways I don't know too much about it pretty sure it's a 292 I at least know it's a Y block but Got a cheap Amazon carburetor on it. Uh, I pulled this off of a different truck that I that I used for going through the flood. When it flooded real bad by my house. Uh, just to put on it so the rain won't get in it. And I ended up having to make a homemade... Here, let me climb up in there. A homemade aluminum spacer. Can you guys see that alright? for this carburetor i couldn't get none of the fiber spacers tall enough nobody had them around me so i ended up going to the scrap yard and getting a half inch thick piece of aluminum and milling it out with a skill saw but got that figured out the radiator that was in it before i think was for a dodge so i ended up having this buy one and swap that over this I bought on eBay and it was pretty decently priced. Came with an electric fan. I haven't hooked none of that up yet. Uh, probably the most expensive for what it was part of this rig was this molded radiator hose. That was $90 at Napa. But anyways, got a fresh battery in it. Uh, some parts that I'm gonna stick into it as I get time is I got a GM three wire conversion kit for this an alternator conversion so we'll swap that to a GM alternator um, and I got some fuse blocks and what now I'm gonna wire into it I don't think I'm gonna completely rewire it but rewire some of it at least uh, got a new clutch master cylinder new clutch slave cylinder new clutch new clutch throw out bearing mm. that's pretty much it as far as new parts as of right now uh, well I got an ignition switch but this one at some point had gotten a tractor ignition switch put into it so I need some of the parts slash waiting on some of the parts but ooh there is a wasp right there I'm glad to, glad I saw that but that's my ignition for right now and that's all the parts that are get, gonna get thrown into it I haven't hooked up the choke yet so I gotta hook up the electric fuel pump in the ignition I 
Oh, I heard it run fuel up in the carb. We'll give it three pumps. Here we go. ignition wire is doing very my ignition is giving me fits Don't want to run. I need to hook up that choke and fix the ignition. But it's in there. It runs. The stock fuel tank in the cab ain't no good. So I converted a transfer tank and soldered some unions and did some other stuff <laughs> and ran some copper line down there. I kind of like it. It looks pretty cool. This, this copper, I gotta tie it down because when copper wiggles, it'll it'll start to crack and then you'll have uh, fuel leaks. And that's no good, but it's good enough for right now. So I did get it to move. It's a four speed with a nice transfer case. Um, I haven't tried out the four-wheel drive because the hubs are stuck, but yeah, here's some of the parts I got. Got wheel cylinders, brake parts, brake master. I got new door locks. Those came with the ignition switch on eBay. So, yeah. My next project it's probably going to be putting tires and wheels on it and digging through those brakes but uh, we'll see the wheels are back ordered i ordered them off a of poker tire so that'll probably they said sometime in the middle of this month or last month i don't even remember it was a month ago but i'm supposed to get those soon i already got the tires but yeah, it looks pretty good. I'll show you guys the tires I got for them. These tires are the same ones I run on my dump truck. Seven and a half, sixteens. I bought sixteen inch wheels for it. They're Power King Power Traction or Super Traction. 
these are what I think are the best classic looking tire for the price uh, I think I paid 150 bucks a tire 200 maybe but yeah runs pretty good Too. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry I've been posting that much. I didn't have a whole lot of time, so I didn't get to film this one. Uh, I actually took a week off of work to get it done to get the motor in. But there will be more to come on this, I promise. For right now, i got to focus on some other stuff. Well, we got it to run. You guys have a good day, thank you.